It's another episode of the Church Solutions Podcast, and it's episode 353, and I'm Phil Thompson. And I'm Steve Lacey. Steve, I learned something last night that I, maybe I knew it, but I had forgotten, and that is Ford made a Stoker engine a 331 Stoker. Did you know that? I did not. <laughs> you didn't know that? Wow, I <laughs> no. thought you would have. It's, <laughs> it's, it's the 302 that's turned into a Stoker. And, oh really? Uh, oh, you mean Stroker, not stroker. stroker. Did I say Stoker? Stroker. <laughs> yes, you're going Stoker. I'm like, I've never it's heard a Stoker. Of... <laughs> they stoke coal in it, and then it <laughs> fires up the furnace, and it goes horsepower is 510. <laughs> Actually, it's over 400 horsepower. Right yeah. Now. When you throw Strokers in there, then there's a ton of different um, <laughs> displacements out there. Because yeah. yes. Yeah. And we've just lost everybody. All yes. right. So in case you're new to us, we we. Uh, we, we've the last few podcasts we've I don't know we, we've been talking about engines but we're not talking about engines in, in on our podcast we just kind of bring that up and then chases people away today we're talking about another tech related thing sometimes we do tech related stuff we work with churches and so it can be a lot of things but we're going to talk about streaming again and we're going to talk about a brand spanking new product called viral stream share yes we are We'll need to explain what that is, but we've been, ex I, I look back at our notes. We've been, we've been, this one's been in the hopper for a long time. Yeah. So. Yeah. We have sent some newsletters out. If, if you, if you're a customer of ours or I don't know, a former customer, I don't know if anybody former got it, but we did, we, we have been doing some beta testing with this product, this new feature uh, called viral stream share and it really has a lot of potential so if you do streaming video or you're interested in doing streaming video uh, this is a podcast you probably want to listen to for at least a few minutes <laughs> yes so what is viral stream share what is viral stream share so i'm going to probably let you answer some of this but 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 it's simply put this way your church you know when you when you stream your church uh, should have a, a link or an, an embed on your website so that people go to your website and they can look at your live stream. Well, viral stream share is the ability for you as an admin or a pastor or whatever to be able to share uh, the link to your streaming with other people, other, you know, like your members and, and uh, viewers that and they can take that and they can post it on their own Facebook page, uh, on their own YouTube account, uh, their very own Twitter account, uh, probably another social streaming as well. Did I, did I, did I, I summarize that correctly or, or is there a better way to put that? I don't know. I would, I would put it like, um, like this, you can broadcast your church service from your church and post it on your website, or you can have the members of your church broadcast your church service on their social channels okay so it's it turns rather than a share like it um, is commonly referred to you know people oh i shared my stream this is actually allows your members to broadcast on their channels on their facebook or youtube or twitter or, or twitch or wherever they want to um, broadcast they broadcast your content so when you go live they go live so right. so yeah so so let me just back this down so you so you know let's say i my favorite church you know my church is streaming live i can post that on my own facebook page but it's not just a link it actually the stream itself yeah the, the stream video it's, itself the stream itself and the deal is once you sign up to participate in this you don't have to do anything so your church member goes and clicks a link and say, yeah, I want to participate in spreading the gospel. And when the church goes live on Sunday, I go live on my Facebook page with their service without doing anything. Without doing, anything. Good, Once you without doing yeah. anything. There's actually, I mean, one of the, uh, we've been testing that with our church and I was actually, um, we at our home church, we were just doing it on one of the Sunday services where they would broadcast it everywhere and i we attend on saturday but we had the family over on sunday and as everyone does that's under 30 and now over 30 they stare at their phone the whole time they're over your house 
And all of a sudden, you know, two of them look up and go, hey, Steve, what's going on? You're broadcasting your church's service, but you're sitting here with me. And so they are friends of mine on the social network, and they just got exposed to my church service because the church was streaming that Sunday. And, and it happened to, the, you know, for my family members, uh, daughter-in-laws and, and such, they would have never uh, seen that stream because they're not friends with my church. And they would not have known that the church had gone broadcasting, but they knew that I was broadcasting. Yeah, and because they, they, were a, spread. they were a Facebook friend of yours. Yes, they're Facebook so Anybody that's a Facebook friend, not just their relatives, but anybody. Anyone that, that's a Facebook that, friend. A friend. And, and yeah. you have, how many friends do you have on Facebook? I, at least seven. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's about right <laughs> for you. <laughs> no, let's talk about that real quick. You know, we, we, Michael Gray is not with us, but he's the he's the pro. And I think that the recent numbers, it's near 300. Yeah. I think he said 338 is the average That's number the average. Yeah. of friends yeah. on Facebook. So yeah. for me having seven, I got a long way to go. But <laughs> yeah, no, I probably have more than seven. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> so, so the average Facebook user, and we're and and by the way, when we're talking about this new product, a new feature called Viral Stream Share, it's not not just Facebook. It's not limited to Facebook. You, you could post it on YouTube. You if you have a YouTube page, uh, you know yourself. If you have a personal Twitter account, which I do as well, uh, or like you said, some other social media platform. So. So like, uh, I lost my trend of thought. So, so like, for instance, I have, I think I have 1300 friends, uh, you know, I mean, on my Facebook. I, really? You know, I, yeah, I used to know They're a lot. They're compensating of for my seven. There you go. So if I were to agree to share a live church's uh, stream, then, then people could, who run across my Facebook page would say, hey, there's a live stream going on Phil's page. And it's this church that uh, is talking about, you know, some subject that they might be interested in. Yeah. So the power of exponentially extending your reach as a church, mm -hmm. I mean, there's tremendous opportunity here. So even if, you know, and the way it works was just backing up a little bit is the church sent me a link and said, would you be willing to share our services this weekend? And I click the link and say, yep, I'm going to share it on Facebook. And, you know, Facebook will have me log in and click of, you know, I approve right. uh, for posting and that sort of thing. And then I was done, uh, you know, all done in less than a minute or so. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I chose both my YouTube channel and my um, Facebook channel so right. that when they went live. So the church is, does, sends out a link and I participated. So the, the power in this is if I average 300 friends and, and 10 other people agreed to share their stuff at my church, now I'm reaching 3,000 people that I wasn't reaching the week before. Yeah. So on Facebook. As a church, you would be, yeah. Yes, okay. as a church, I'd be reaching 3,000 people with just 10 of my members sharing it. So, and I up that to say a hundred, I have a larger church or, and I get a hundred to, you know, participate. That's, you know, 30,000 people that would have not seen the stream the weekend before yeah. that got exposed to my ministry. Yeah. Yeah. So the and potential there is amazing. Yeah. And the, the best thing about it is it's through your people. So there, it's not just some random, you know, blast on a billboard or something. Yeah. It's, it's through a social connection of people that go to your church that are committed to your church. And it's, it allows you, allows them to, um, and we kind of have the saying at our church is every member, a minister. So it allows you to do ministry by just clicking a link and approving it. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. The potential of reaching uh, people seeing your stream is, is amazing with, with this viral stream share. Uh, it really is. So, uh, so basically, again, just to reiterate this, uh, as an administrator at my church, let's say I'm the church online pastor or whatever, uh, if I have uh, an account with us and our company is streamingchurch.tv, if I have an account with us and I end up with a, a platinum plan, which we'll get into in a little bit, 
and I've got this feature, uh, I can set this up and people, you know, people can, can join in and stream. How, how do I get my people to do this? I guess is probably the question. So it's the same way you get your people to do anything. So there's, there's a link. So you, you go into, you know, our admin area and a link is created and then you share that link and maybe, yeah, maybe the best ways with a newsletter article or a YouTube video or um, whatever, an email that you send out to your congregation explaining, you know, what this thing is and then include the link. Yeah. So yeah. that's how I'd get my pit, my people to participate. Yeah. So get the word out. If you're going to do this, you've got to get the word out. And this is where, uh, if, we, if we can digress here a little bit, this is where I think, and we've talked about this before in this Church Solutions podcast, you know, anytime you're promoting anything in your church, you've got to promote it multiple times in multiple different ways. And you, you can't just talk about something once, it doesn't matter what it is. I mean, you've got to get the word out there and you've got to use every avenue that you've got to communicate all the tools to communicate and you've got to do it on a consistent basis you can't just do it once or twice right. um, whatever it is you're doing you know whether yeah. it's baptism and, sunday or whatever this is no exception you got to yeah. talk about and it. the good thing about this is you can you can start small you can yeah. say oh, i create my link and mm -hmm. i'm going to share it with just a subset of people and just a few people, yeah. just a few people and go a week yeah. or two and say, wow, that was really exponential. I want to turn this thing up and you need to share it with more people and to the point yeah. where you get your, your whole ministry involved. Yeah. Yeah. And so, it's completely, um, people can get the link and say, nope, not interested. Or they can, you know, they can click the link and say, yep, I'm willing to, to re to broadcast my church service on my uh, Facebook page. Yeah. People don't. Uh, yeah. Obviously, people don't have to do it. Yes. And, and and people could could do it. And then I don't know if they decided later they didn't want to do it. They can they can opt out of it. Right. Yep. I mean, yep. so they're, they're not locked into it. So uh, this really increases the just the whole multiplication deal of, of, of getting the word out, getting the video out. It just really multiplies it in, 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 in huge numbers. Uh, as we just talked about earlier, you know, I mean, uh, a number of people share this and then their friends see it and and then even their friends could eventually share it too, I guess. And so th there's a lot of potential here. So what would, so it, what would, uh, is there any, um, uh, I mean, when somebody does this, is there any kind of like downside to this? Is there uh, like, if I go to click on this link, let's say I'm just a, you know, an average Joe, my church sends me this link says, Hey, share this and it'll stream on your Facebook page or your Twitter account. I mean, it is, is when I click on this is, am I going to get some warning, warning, Will Robinson, you know, you're about <laughs> well, to go into uncharted territory. I mean, is there something that could scare me off? Oh, uh, the, I mean, uh, when you click the, you got to log into your Facebook account and then you got to click the, you know, I want to share. And I'm sure they, the Facebook has the legalese there saying, you know, all the, we would probably ought to write or get a copy of what all Facebook is saying, but it's anytime you're, you're posting or allowing uh, a, someone to post to your Facebook page, it's going to be the same thing that Facebook um, puts out there as well. Yeah. So you, you need to know you will, I mean, what happens is if you agree to post for the church and the church pushes the stream to your Facebook page, it's going to, it's, you know, that's what's going to happen. So so yes, you run the risk if the if the church does something wrong, it's going to show up on your Facebook page. But it is your church, and it is you know typically the church's message is not going to be yeah. too offensive. But but there is going to be you know like we have you know as a company, we have people that come over to us that have been streaming for free, so called free on Facebook or YouTube, and they've come over to us and they said you know I'm, we're going to start using you guys. We'll pay to use you guys because Facebook has muted our stream or did something blocked our stream because facebook in its wisdom whatever the algorithm there was something that they've deemed as a copyright infringement right yes. and so that's why they came over to us why some churches have come over to us when they were doing it for free on facebook because they had some kind of a copyright or something that was allegedly 
a copyright infringement. So, so that could still happen, right? So that so, can still happen. So, you know, I'm moving along here. So is that going to affect me just personally? I mean, not, not my church necessarily. I mean, it does affect the church, but, but my Facebook page, am I going to get kicked off Facebook? If no, you, won't. Church, you, you know. may get, if you're, if your church broadcast copyrighted material, and now it's going to get broadcast on your Facebook page as well. So you you may get a warning that you broadcast, um, you know, copyrighted material. So the, any of the churches that are um, participating in this, we encourage them to not broadcast copyright material. <laughs> so, you know, you want to make sure that if you've got, uh, when we, we had this at our church, there was a, a music loop that they play after the service and they didn't turn the stream off in time. And so that music loop made it to a Facebook page. And so it, you know, it, it sends the alert, but it's, it just, it just sends the alert. So and if you don't broadcast uh, copyrighted material, you won't have any issues. Well, it's the same thing you're going to have is if I'm a church and I'm broadcasting to Facebook or YouTube, if I broadcast copyright material, they're going to, they're going to let me know, Hey, you've copyright, you've broadcast copyright material. So, but it will mute it or do something with it, but it's not necessarily going to throw me off of Facebook. No, it's not going to throw me off Facebook. It may mute the stream. And again, the people that, that are participating in this are in charge. They can just say, Nope. I'm not going to do that again. Yeah. If their yeah. church continues to misbehave. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it, it just happens not on purpose, but it, I don't know, some things, you know, like I've told this story before, you know, I had a friend who you know, wrote music and did his own music. And, uh, you know, they, the Facebook said, you know, you've, you've got a copyright violation here, even though he's the guy that wrote it, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and allegedly they, uh, you know, they, they muted it or something. They, I think, I don't know if it was YouTube or Facebook muted the thing. So there was actually, you could actually see the video, but it was muted. That was years ago. I don't know if that's still yes. what they do now, but. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's probably the only real risk here. Um, is if the church broadcast copyrighted material, then you're one of the broadcasters. The positive side, I think completely outweighs the, the negative side. You, yeah. you get the message out, you become a, a minister as a member, um, by sharing your, you know, sharing the church's stream. Yeah. Okay. And it's a great opportunity for the church. So it's just a great way to leverage. So it's different than sharing. You know, in that, you know, oh, I've I've watched my face Facebook stream of my church and and I click the share button and it then it it will show up as a share for me. This is this is actually broadcasting it. It's actually but streaming my, it live. Yeah. Yes, actually. And then streaming. will the video like I know with Facebook, when you stream something live on Facebook, after you're done, there's an archive, right? Yes. That, that is still there that that Facebook turns into. So that would be the same case in this situation as well, right? Yep. Yep. So it would show up on your feed is if they didn't catch it live, they'll see it. They would see it the fact. Yeah. And again, as, as a, your own personal Facebook page, you could delete that too, if you wanted to. Yeah. You wanted. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, this sounds good. So it's called viral stream share. Uh, that's what it's called. Uh, it's available through us, but let's, let's talk a little bit about the cost. Do, do we have a cost? Do we have a price yet for this wonderful feature? We it's included with our platinum plan. Okay. What's the cost of our platinum plan? Our platinum plan is one seventy nine a month. So one seventy nine a month, which allows people to stream live. Uh, also, we host the archives, and then it would also include this viral stream share uh, that people could use, the churches could use for their things. So, so that's what it costs. So, uh, if I've got people listening to this Church Solutions podcast, that maybe they're they're our regular customers, you know. Uh, but they've got a basic plan or a premium plan. Uh, they're interested in this. Uh, can we can we let them test drive it for a week or two? We they can definitely reach out to us and we can give them a taste of it. Okay, so they could get a, they could get a shot of it and and see if they liked it, and then uh, they could easily convert their account uh, if they wanted to. I've lost my notes here. Sorry. Uh, yeah. And they could yeah. they could. It they could yes. try it. They could kick the tires a little bit. Yes. And if you're already a platinum member and you don't see this on your 
admin panel and give us a shout because this is this is new yeah. and we do have a legacy system that doesn't include this so um yeah we do we, yeah we we have a system where people can do social so we've always had we've always had well not always but, but for several years we've got a a system in place that's what the platinum plan is uh is that you know you can stream send one stream to us and then you can also, you can, you know, it can be set up to, to send that one stream to us. And then it would go to Facebook. If you go to YouTube, it could go to Twitter. We've always had that. I mean, not always, but we've had it for several years now. Right. Yes. And, and so this is different in a sense that now if people want the viral stream share, uh, they can have that. And it will do what we just talked about the last 20 minutes and people can, yes. you can send it to, to people, uh, that, that can stream it on their own pages. So yeah, so I thought I think it's important for us to to clarify that we've we've always given people that option to to send stuff to their own to you know the church's own so social streaming platforms, the church's own Facebook page. That's what the Platinum Plan has done in the past. Their own YouTube account, the church's own. But this allows their members to also stream it from their right. own accounts. Did I make that clear? <laughs> uh, yes. They... There's one. Yeah. So that's the difference. That's that's what this new feature is. This viral stream share feature. Uh, it takes it to the next level. And it, as you were saying earlier, it takes it to really a, a great opportunity for people to, uh, yeah. and to it's, multiply. And like I said, it's it's fully automatic. I mean, when I talked about my um, uh, daughter-in-laws and kids in the room and uh, I have my phone in my pocket and they're trying to figure out how did Steve just start broadcasting his church service? So it's, yeah. it's fully automatic. So yeah. once you set it up, it's set up and forget it from a member set um, standpoint. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing really. Yeah. You don't have to be in front of it, a live encoder. You don't, you don't have, have to, to be in front of a live encoder. You don't have to be down you know, anywhere. Uh, you don't have to do worry anything. about your internet. It'll just, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it'll it's just aud automatically go and, all right. Your church service with all of your circle of you at what'd you say, fifteen hundred friends you have? At... Well, not fifteen hundred, but I don't know if they're all friends, but there's like thirteen hundred. I think thirteen hundred, somewhere in that area. There, it's right. gotten out of control over the last few years. You know, now, you know when you're, along. I'm kind of a big deal. You know. I'm yeah, like, I know. I, I can <laughs> tell. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I read a book a while back that said you can't really have a relationship with more than 150 people. I don't um, think you have a relationship more than seven. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I only have like two or three people, but that I actually have a relationship with. So, uh, all right. So people can get this. So, so by, and by the way, we, we've been testing this for a while now. We've had some other churches using it, testing it. So um, you'll hear more about it. If you subscribe to our newsletter, and if you if you don't subscribe to our newsletter, you can just simply do that. Just send us an email. How could they do it? Just support at streamingchurch.tv. Uh, that works. They, they can subscribe to the newsletter uh, that we send out all the time. So we're 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 going to send more information about this in the in the coming weeks. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll have live videos, not live videos, but we'll have recorded videos on how to use it. Uh, and so we'll make it as simple as possible. And as always, uh, one of our key things that we are here at streamingchurch.tv is customer support. We, we're always available and we're available even on Sundays. So we can help you uh, as we do with everybody that, that does any kind of streaming with us. Uh, we, we help you set it up. We'll help you do it. We're, we're there for you if you have any questions or snags. Absolutely. All right. Sounds good. Okay. I think we've covered it for the most part. So it's viral stream share. Uh, send us an email if you need more information on it. Support at streamingchurch.tv. We'll be happy to help you with that. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the Church Solutions podcast, that way you'll never miss a podcast and give us a give us a rating too. Yeah, absolutely. Love to hear from you. All right, Steve, this covers it pretty good, I think. We're excited about this. We hope that your church will jump in and be a part of it. Uh, those of you listening here. So, all right, we are done here with episode 353. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Steve. And thank you for spending some time with us on the Church Solutions Podcast. My name is Phil Thompson. We will catch you next time on another episode. Please take care of yourselves and each other.